Joining together the data from five satellites reveals one part of the system, one layer, the ever-changing atmosphere that encapsulates our world. This remarkable animation shows how the atmosphere carries moisture on a global scale. Seen here in extreme fast forward, two seconds is equal to a day. The vapor is normally invisible, but now it can be viewed. The whole world in a single frame. Seen from space, the ocean and the atmosphere are intrinsically linked. A continuous system joined together by water, 12 trillion tons of which is floating around in the air at any one time. When the data is wrapped around a model of the Earth, it gives a new perspective on our planet. Surface currents vary in temperature depending on the energy they receive from the sun. This in turn determines the amount of vapor that is released into the air. All the world's weather is actually driven by one process. The region around the equator receives the highest share of the sun's energy and produces most of the water vapor. A huge band circles the globe. The vapor systems always travel in the same general direction, outwards towards the poles, driven by prevailing winds and the spin of the Earth. In the northern hemisphere, they circle clockwise. Vast swirls of vapor spanning 3,000 kilometers. In the southern hemisphere, they spin counterclockwise. The Earth, always seeking an equilibrium, that it never can reach. It's these variations that drive seasonal changes on land as well as ocean. As the Gulf Stream cools in the fall, it causes New England maple trees to turn red and shed their leaves. Six months later and half the world away, another current called the Kuroshio starts to warm, and cherry trees burst into blossom all over Japan. Similar processes are happening all across the world, governing the seasonal cycles of almost all life on the Earth. One example occurs in western India at the end of July. Warm, moist air is forced up by a mountain range called the Ghats. Huge clouds bubble up. We call the result the monsoon. In contrast, on the other side of the world, the prevailing wind must cross the high mountains of the Andes before reaching central Chile. The altitude strips the moisture from the air, creating one of the driest places on the Earth, the high desert of the Atacama. There are places here where no rainfall has ever been recorded.